Cool. How are you, Zomi? I'm okay. Apart from the allergic reactions I'm experiencing, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, yes. That time of year. Very good. Yes. Lerato. Hello, Lerato. Lerato might be having network issues. Let's give it a second. Uh, let me find my Facebook thing here. There we go. Lerato, can you hear us? Lerato? Oh, we'll start. How are you, Zomi? Welcome to Plan of Action. Uh, Plan of Action is the show where we highlight our value idiots. And uh, you are a value idiot who's been us, with us for a bit. So uh, tell us about Zomi and how she became a value idiot and joined value -Ed. Oh, goodness. Um, <clears throat> I became a. Okay, I'm Zomi Mashangu. Yes, and, that's <laughs> And I am 22 years old and I studied journalism and media practices. And how I heard of Veli Ed was through my aunt. She she was also part, she's also actually part of the, um, the Veli Ed family. And then I got a sponsorship from Uncle Dan. Yes, you got sponsorship from celebrities. Yes. And <laughs> yeah, I got a sponsorship Hi, from Hi, Uncle Vic. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I see you made it. Are you struggling God. with the network? Yes, it's the network that I'm struggling with and we're having load shedding, so yeah. Oh, gee, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Zomi was just explaining how she got sponsorship from Dan Moyani to come on to Value Ed. Mm. Yes. Yes. And that's how I, I got to know about Value Ed. He sponsored my my journey in the value add family because he's also doing, I, I'm actually doing what he also did, journalism. Yes. And, and, yeah, yeah. So that's how I got to become part of the value add team. And I got to meet <laughs> Uncle Vic and yeah. other <laughs> participants. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, tell me, how's the journey been for you? In hectic from very ed. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's it's been very good to me because I met a lot of people. I met you, I met Stacy, um I attended um several courses uh with media and personal branding with Rikire. Um mm -hmm. I learned a lot. It's been it's been amazing because I, I also got exposed to a different people, different topics, different, you know, it, it kind of accommodated everything in one space. So I learned a great deal. It's been a wonderful journey being in the value ed team. Fantastic, fantastic. Fantastic. Lerato? Yeah, so I, I wanted to know from meeting all those people and being part of all the sessions that you've been part of, what have you taken? What has inspired you to put in an action plan that would go for a long time for you? That has made you achieve something, that has made you have that drive to have an action plan. After um, all, the show is called Plan of Action. Yay! <laughs> Uh, consistency, you know, and also um, celebrating the minor things that you achieve. Mm -hmm. um, from the sessions that I had with Stacey, um, being it from work readiness and aside from that, she taught me to celebrate each and every achievement that I, I get. 
And then also from Uncle Vic that when you put your mind in, onto something, you have to take it, carry it out, carry it out until the end. So that has been my mantra or motto. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So you gave me a quote, right? That says, there is no comparison between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their own time, right? So yeah. how does that resonate with you? How is it the, the main quote that you gave me from all the quotes that you have? Why choose that one? Because the, there's different seasons in life. Mm -hmm. um, Mm. Yeah. the different season this season might be my season the next one might be the other one the other person's season so mm -hmm. I can't really be envious of someone else's journey I need to celebrate my own journey take my own lane be comfortable be content and work on my growth personally and be proactive in my growth and not focus I can take bits and bits from there um, for inspiration but I can't mm -hmm. be focus on someone else's journey, whereas mine has a lot to be worked on. So here's this why I said, um, the sun does not shine for everyone. It's, it's different times, it's different times. That's a, that's a very, very powerful thing because- a powerful one. Yeah, that's something that if you can embrace that, it'll never be some, I, I don't think it'll be something that you can, you know, things like envy or, or jealousy or wishing for, I talk about, there's a, there's a thing that I talk about in Visualize with Vic about wishing for somebody and wanting for somebody and the difference between the two. That sometimes when somebody wishes something for you, when you get it, they're a little bit, you know, if you notice sometimes you get it and they're a little bit, and you think, but I thought you wished this for me. And they're, but yeah. they're a little bit. Yeah. The joy is not in them anymore, right? Yeah. Um, um, because they wished it for you, but now that you've got it, they're a little envious or they're a little jealous or whatever the case may be. And then there's wanting for you, right? When somebody wants for you, it's almost like when you get it, that they're celebrating with you. They, they are, Absolutely. it's like they got it too. So I've learned to distinguish between those, those two things. Um, but also in my life, in terms of how I see other people, right? So I also have to say that who do I wish for sometimes? And then when they get it, I'm a little, mm, when, and, and, and who do I want for, right? And because, you know, I, and, and it happens to me. I know I flick through um, uh, what you call this thing, LinkedIn, and I see somebody getting a board position or somebody getting appointed in, in a major job. And I'm like, mm, <laughs> me, mm, right? And, and, and your point is very right because that's their journey. That's, you know, and, and sometimes you even try to change your journey to go, maybe I should be doing that. Right? Yes. Um, and then you try and completely deflect. So that's a powerful, really, really powerful thing. So what are you doing just now? What are you, what are you, what are you, what, what's coming together for you? What, what are you celebrating? Now I'm celebrating the latest small achievements I've recently got. Uh, I got to become, um, a news anchor at Harangua FM. Ooh, uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. They've also made me their sports anchor, and then now they're preparing me to give me my own show. Ooh. So, Proud yeah. to that. <laughs> we're, we're talking to a celebrity here now. Yeah. No. <laughs> we need to get an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. So... Um, basically, as I've said before, um, Stacey taught me to celebrate all the small wins that I've accumulated. So now I'm on a path of celebrating. It's, it's a very small radio community station. It's very, very small. Um, but I appreciate the, the opportunity they've given me to, mm. to enhance myself and sharpen myself as a journalistic. And also I had the privilege of me meeting other news anchors from um, big uh, company organizations, so to speak. So me having to interact with them and them guiding me into the right path since while well, we're in the same industry, it's really been a great thing to me. So that's what I'm currently doing with now. Fantastic. That's nice. Mm, you know, you know we, we, most of the time, especially as youth, 
We want to get something on a silver platter. We don't want to grow the seed ourselves. Like yeah. where you are, you are still growing your seed. You're still watering it. That's what Uncle Vic always says. Be the seed. Just get that watering. Everyone who gives you whatever information, whatever they're going to give you, they're I'm still watering sorry. you until where you're just going to pop out a bit. And where yeah. you just pop up, that's where you grow. That's true. So we just want things to just, we grab. And then we just want to go with it. But then we have to learn from the start, from yeah. underground there, like how do you drive yourself on your own when yeah. other people are there? Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Because um, my grandfather um, told me not to ever believe in instant gratification. I, because everyone can get to the top, but to remain there is the problem. How do you create that longevity how do you remain consistent and relevant? You know, so it's one of the things that I also took from my grandfather that he taught me that instant gratification does not really pay it out. You need to put in a lot of work for you to get wherever you want to get. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and the other thing, of course, is that we grew up in an era, that's my generation, where size was success. How big something was was success right? Mm -hmm. um, the era of the future is not about size, it's about impact. Mm -hmm. so yeah. your, your, your impact doesn't equal size, right? So when you start thinking of your radio station in Karankua, don't necessarily think of it as, um, in terms of size, think about it in terms of impact, because there are many massive news anchors or news stations or, or broadcasting stations, zero impact, right? Mm -hmm. All they do is spew out what I can read on a, you know, on my mobile phone, you know, overnight. But when you start thinking about what you're doing for your community, the measure of impact is going to be is going to be very important. So, so yeah. So all kudos to you for your success you. there, and and having an area where what you say can have, you know, profound replica, you know, implications. I just did a show earlier on today with uh, teachers talking about Dubai. Now, Dubai is not the biggest city in the world, but what it's done in 40 to 50 years, actually in 40 years, 1980 to let's say last year or the year before, uh, to, you know, 2000, uh, 2020 rather, it's, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm gonna send you a little video clip that Steve Harvey talks about where there has never been in the history of any country in the world that in 40 years that they've done so much, right? And the impact that they've had just particularly for their own citizens has been so massive. And then you can take other countries that are big in size. And yet, they have nothing to show. Nothing, nothing to show for it, nothing, right? So love your community. Um, and when you do that, your, your impact is gonna be significant so thank yeah you. fantastic fantastic thank what you. is your parting words to future valueadians who should join Radio? my parting words <laughs> you caught me off guard i think <laughs> i'll use the the muhammad ali quote when he said don't quit suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion Woo! Wow. <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> slowly. He said, um, don't quit, suffer now, and live the rest of your life as a champion. Yeah. So it's critical yeah. to quotes that I, yeah. I live by. Yeah, no, that's, um, you're, you're certainly on the right track. Um, continue to improve yourself, continue to grow, take time out for you. What we want to create value at is a place where people take time out for themselves and come and hear different versions of people talk about stories about themselves because the journey to build yourself is an ongoing one. Mm -hmm. um, and the journey as you build yourself doesn't mean that challenges are not gonna come along and moments are not gonna come along where yeah. you don't know who you are and what you should be doing and all that sort of thing. Use the platform as a place where you can come and meet the Laratos and. And, and, and help guide you in the right direction and, and re-engineer your plan of action. Mm. Yeah. We have family here. 
I love, I really I'm appreciate already being a celebrity. Nice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> True. True. <laughs> By the way, have you told Dan Moyani that, about all this? I lost his contacts because I changed phones. So most of my contacts are in the old phone. I have we'll put you together. I'll, I'll, I'll set something up with uh, him and you. So as a catch up, uh, just tell him so that you can give him an update and uh, you'll be pretty chuffed. All right, cool. Oh, and also I would love for you to come to our show, our breakfast show. Oh, home. yes. Hang on. I have a call or what? I don't know. But get some autographs, speak to some <laughs> Yeah, take some selfies with some celebs. Yeah, yeah. broadcaster. Oh I'm gonna say I've arrived. <laughs> but honestly, I really, I really want you to come um to Farangua FM, although it might be a very small station, but I think you impart a lot. You know, you should like what, what Uncle Vic said, do not measure it as it's something small. Yeah. You do not know the capacity that um it has on other people yeah. and you don't know where it reaches because mm -hmm. you might think it just reaches Kharangua, but you don't know who else has heard of it again and who else outside Kharangua is listening to it. Yeah. So it's not only about Kharangua and it's small, it's a small business. We have always said that value add is small, but if you can look at the inspiration it gives, the motivation it gives, mm -hmm. and the people it reaches. It's more than what the company is. Yeah. So it's more. Don't just measure it as a small company. It's more than what you are seeing. It's more of what people are getting. Okay. Couldn't yeah. have put it better. You let me know when to come. We'll be there for sure. All right. Um, and uh, and uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Time out. Thank and, you. Uh, amazing quote. Amazing quotes that you've given. And for those of you who've listened in, yeah, this is, this is an exactly the, the shining example of, uh, of somebody who's putting the plan of action forward. So yay, well done. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Take care. Thank you Talk very much. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Cheers, cheers.